Okay, bless me, Father, for I am about to sin. Wait, tuck that shirt in, or I will guide you through a table saw. You try it, and I will separate your body from your lap, Taffy, and I will stitch a football out of your foreskin. When a trauma teacher had a heart attack and Principal Langstein gave me the responsibility for directing this production Oliver, I told him I'd rather saw my own nads off with a kite string. Listen, you jackknobs. Get out of here, you two. Get out of here before the holiness wears off and I snap your spines over the back of a pew. I can see you, man. Night goggles. I can see you. You know what? I see you, Hoffman! I see you! I Back of the head, 2020, and I see ya. The Shazer, get that iPod out of your melon holes, or I will download my left cleat in your fart chimney. Here, Sloop, PK, Talbot, all three of you after school triple murder. Right there. Right there. They would like nothing more than to slice off your wings and wear it as a bracelet. You're dead. Come to school for detention, and then you're gonna be deceased. Then you need to shut it. <laughs> you know what? Who put that there? Who put that there? Who moved that? Any one of you moved that? Every one of you. You're getting a harpoon through your ocular cavity. Every one. Do not think that I will not suplex you. I'm very sorry. That was a very moving and touching speech. Thanks, there, but I wasn't finished yet, Sister Mary Enormous. You want some of that? <laughs> You are gonna get your scrotum turned into a change purse. How about that? Here, I'm gonna give you a hair lip that makes Vigos look like a cat scratch. You got a new name now. It's Hail Mary full of bullets. How about that? No, no, no. Violence, violence is never an option. Not at all. These guys are ass nuggets over here. Look at that. That's that's Kareem Abdul Jabbar right there. I kill you, I revive you, and then I kill you again. Okay? It can be done. I saw it on CSI Miami. Did you get me? No, no. Yo, you didn't get me! You didn't get me! You did not get me! You did not get me, Reg! Who didn't get me? Reggie Hauser. I have had it with these stupid jackasses. Okay. Well, it's like a hee-haw factory in here with the jackasses. Now, if that guy gets past you, I'm gonna cut your body in half with the edge of a coin, okay? Quit talking to Padre and get out of here before I impale you on the staple of this church. I am gonna remove your duodenum. <laughs> you get back in that can and you fill this cup or I will take this whistle and wrap it around your tent maker and squeeze it out myself. I need to talk it all. <laughs> and that's impossible for Pete's pepper, son. Why don't you get off the corner? And if your forearm touched your neck, she was pregnant! <laughs> now this is prom for Pete's boss! Today we're gonna win! Doesn't even come close! <laughs> you cut it with the Asian accent! What the hell do I know about musical theater except for that I hate it? <laughs> Are so you gonna get some big, supple, delicious Jennifer Love Hewitt's going? And I mean supple, like you know, lotions in there, and they're beautiful, like this. And they wouldn't be lopsided like I made them here. They'd be perfect. They'd be perky like this, like you know, just little dimples on there. Right here, here's your man seat, okay? It's a couple of these old guys, okay? And they're gonna be heading over here, okay? On a skinny post pattern, right into the girl cone, okay? Now right there, they're gonna get in the curl cone here. You're gonna have an egg, okay? And then, boink, Junior Sug Tucket comes out. Nine months later, here he is, got a little hit, like that, a little egg. There he goes, he's got hair on the side, hair on the side, and strangely enough, a mustache. If you two portacles even get near that thought, I will kill you. I won't be creative about it. I'm just gonna take you out in broad daylight, shoot you in the back of the head, and pay the consequences. No. Um, emergency is kind of there. Anyway, emergency is anyway. You secure it, or I will staple it, son, okay? <laughs> well, show some respect. There is a dead nun in this box. <laughs> now, another crack like that, I'm gonna put you in there next to her. I will do it. I will make room in there for you. So you just try me, chief. You just. Try me.
You know what this whole section right here, all you guys? After the game, alphabetical order, mass murder. Okay, oh, yeah. Holy Something. mother of God on earth and in heaven at the exact same time. Your back's gonna look like the Urals, the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Rockies are making love. Okay, new strategy. Lose this game and I will murder you, okay? <laughs> now what happens is it inverts itself until it turns into your very own Lady Smith Black Mombazo. Now you treat that lady with respect and dignity right now, or I swear to God in heaven, I will turn your eyes into scrambled eggs. Don't ask me how! Now I'm gonna be a guy, and I want you to be one of these girls that you know somewhere around the school or something, okay? All right. Sasoisin. Oh, look at that, the jugular bird. Sasoisin. And there's your right rep now. Sasoisin. What a crossbow. Medieval. Sasaisa. You know, go through his navel cavity. Sasaisa. Sasaisa. Here's your left cornea. Sasaisa. Let's get up. Sasaisa. What about some Legolas? Legolas. 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 Listen up, or I'm cutting your ears off with shears. Oh, really, Ramanashi? Really? Try it, Captain Jones. I don't think they were fooled, coach. You know what you think, Yamanashi? Is this just your warning, Chief? This is your warning. I see that basketball again, and this is going to be your back, huh? Like that, huh? I'm twisting, stabbing, stabbing the neck, and twisting and stabbing in your back. It's a twist and a stab, and I'm telling you, right there in the spinal cord. These guys like Yamanashi. I want to kill these little bum nuts. Sit down, you! Sit down, Yamanashi! Ah. My God, shut it, Yamanash! <laughs> What are you laughing at, Yamanashi? Is this your after-school job? What if it is, Yamanashi? What if it is, Yamanashi? What if it is my after-school job? What if coaching you dumb pug muckers doesn't pay all my expenses, huh? What then, Chief? Huh? What then? Yamanashi, you and Carico are gonna tell his high holy one here what you did yesterday or I will slice your head off with the edge of my house key and then drown your face in the baptismal font. 